All right, we're back here. That's the next morning. We're still in Alabama. I decided to take Maggie out to get some training in, in a new place. Decided to bring the 22 because I didn't want to bring a shotgun. And this isn't about killing squirrels. This is about getting Maggie on squirrels and getting her to tree. There's a whole lot of these pine ridges. And to me, I don't think that's a really good squirrel habitat, but I don't really know. It's a learning experience for me too. The other thing is it's 65 degrees out here in Alabama. So it's, it's nice for vacation, but it's a little bit weird for squirrel hunting in the end of December. It's just uh, some woods time with a young puppy who's not treeing yet. All right, this is definitely an area and a type of terrain that I've never hunted before. Looks like a nice swampy kind of flood, flooded flatwood bottom or something, hardwood flat bottom. But it's where I see the hardwoods. We've gotten to, into an area which is mostly pines and she's never really hunted pines before, not even really cedars. And you can see she's being very slow, sticking very close to me. And just expect that your, your puppy might be slower and sticking closer to you. All right, so we were in that kind of hardwood bottom. It turned into more of all this ridiculous pine. We're gonna get back to the truck real quick and see if there's a better spot. Because one of the keys is to put your dog <laughs> in an area you're confident there should be squirrels. You people who hunt Alabama might be in crazy by not hunting the pine trees because maybe that's where all the fox squirrels hang out. I don't know. You Should you be hunting the pine trees in, in Alabama like this? Ooh, yeah, <laughs> Alright, so here's the update. We drove down the road about three miles and a gray squirrel ran from here to the left over uh, across the road. So we're going to walk over this way and see if we can put Maggie on the track. She'll hit the track and then and follow it up to the tree. She hit the track. <laughs> Go get him, puppy. Don't eat. Oh, okay. She hit the track of french fries. Come on. Hey, hey. Come on. Go get him. Which is right. I think she just hit it. Tuna or something? Jesus. Pick up your trash, guys, come on. Well, she missed this track, so we're gonna go into the woods. A lot more hardwoods and oaks and stuff. Work this whole like flooded bottom, creek bottom, and I could hear squirrels barking at us. We just couldn't really get on them. They're not running around on the ground, and we're being a little too loud. It's extremely quiet out. There's no wind, and it's pretty dry. And so Maggie, is, she's still staying pretty close to me. And so we're just gonna we kind of got up on this little hill here, and the sun's at our back, and we're staring into all these hardwoods. And hopefully we'll be able to see squirrels start jumping around and moving as they kind of relax a bit. If Maggie would quiet down, she's into, she's really enjoying eating her sticks. <laughs> it's not that she doesn't like squirrels and squirrel hunting. It's just she hasn't put it together that, you know, the squirrels will run away from you and hide. And you can go out there 200 yards away and try to smell them and find them. She hasn't put any of that stuff together yet. She just thinks, you know, You'll be walking down the trail and then there's a squirrel 10 yards from you and, oh, that's so cool, and then she'll move on to something else. <laughs> what a freaking goof. I would have expected to see more squirrels kind of actively working it, but I guess not. 
Oh, smart. Good puppy. Get over to that, we should be good. Cool. Oh, she see something? What are you doing, Peppy? Wonder if we bumped one across the road or something. Sounds like a squirrel just jumped through here somewhere. You see how she looked back at me and looked, we're still moving forward? Yeah. Can't tell if she thinks there's something up there, but she's about a hundred yards in front of me. Yeah, go on. Go on. That is awesome. Yep, she's looking back. Keep going. Go on, Maggie. There you go. Keep going. This is so cool. I can just see her little body bouncing up above this every once in a while. She's acting like she she probably hasn't seen this squirrel, but she keeps hearing it. Like I wonder. She pushed one up a tree or something. <laughs> it's nice to see it rains out like that, Max. Still, hit or miss on that. The truck shooting light's pretty much wrapped up. That's gonna end it for this episode. We'll see you in the next episode. Maggie, what are you doing?